<laughs> bit dodgy by this by this lake. <laughs> right, what I'm trying to do here is I've taken these two trees here and I've sort of done a, a portrait version of that and I might fill in all this blank space up here and then I've taken this tree here and sort of like come down about there and then across there not so much the reflection in the water because uh, well let's face it they call it it's uh, with all the leaves floating it's hard to sort of make out and uh, and I've taken a whole shot of the whole scene so that tree that tree that tree and sort of off by about there off by about here but we've got these sort of coming in and there's a protruding branch here which I've got I might have to clone out so that's about it <laughs> some autumn stillness for you this time Well, I've got down a bit lower in the attempt to um, put the overhanging branches into a bit of clear sky so it's easy to clone out. And I've just taken three shots, one a tight end shot how I want it, one slightly wider. And also I thought, what the hell, <laughs> I'll just uh, take one at 24 mil with the, um, the maximum um, wide angle angledness <laughs> of the lens. Well, the maximum focal length of the lens. Uh, so I've just done that. And God, my back's killing me. Because I'm in an awkward position, trying to crouch down low without falling in the, the pond. So now I'm going to have a wander around and see if I can find anything else. <sighs> oh, oh, if I can be back. God. Ah. Spooky in here. Even though it does look dark on the uh, on the video, it's well dark in here. About four seconds for the, uh, the basic exposure. I might have to do it again because um, it's a bit bouncy on these pine needles, so I may have moved the camera. Yeah, right. 
right now I'll do it again shooting at f16 so it's giving it a bit more I'm saying yeah a bit more depth of field it's just really a test shot I don't know how it's going to come out so I'll leave with that I'm just going to go for I've spotted some mushrooms that might be a, a nice stylish little shot I'm just going to have a look at that so I'll leave this running and put on time lapse and see if you see any movement in the branches Well, that mushroom didn't pan out. It had been chewed to death by little beasties. Well, that's done. So I've spotted um, something else over here. I'll go and show you. Well, you can see what I'm going for going for this uh, creepy felled well blown over tree with its roots coming out I'm just take a picture of it sort of crop it off by there crop out the bright bits in the sky and sort of off by about there This part of the forest is creeping me out, so I've got to leave here and head back towards the car. So we'll just see what happens. <laughs> also, I had to walk under a tree that's been supported by another tree. So I thought one gust of wind, it could be game over. Well, what I'm doing is a tight shot in of sort of off by about there, off by over there, about 100 millimeters, off by about there. Keep was it that silver birch in there, off by about there. And uh, what I might have to do is I might have to clone in. There's a little bright spot up there. Just clone in a bit of a extra tree to fill that in. Um, I tried sort of tilting down, but it it doesn't seem to or getting lower it doesn't seem to make any difference to the shot so I'll just have to clone that bit in to fill in that gap that distracting little hot spot at the top of the frame uh, I kept this I saw this shot on the way here but I thought it's not going to change much even when the light levels go a bit lower so I thought I'd just leave it and uh, shoot it on the way back if I hadn't got anything else to show you <laughs> so I'm just going to take the picture now. Well, just doing another one. A bit further along, so I'll crop it off by about there. There's a tree there, I think. I can barely see what I'm doing, so crop it off by about here uh, take out the top yeah you know the score it's getting too dark so we're going to see what uh, the camera's done now well it's all going rather spooky now and there's strange rustling noises in the wood <laughs> so I'm gonna head back to the car and get out get out of here before the werewolves come out <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. excellent right 
please like and subscribe uh, so I can uh, buy some more garlic and some silver bullets <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video well I'm just checking this tree so off by about there off by about here off by about there off by about there and I'll have to probably darken the sky down because it's a bit bright so, because I'm in twilight um, I mean it looks more like that <laughs> even a lot darker than that at the moment